All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I'm Jill with Go English Coach. Um, today, we've got class seven of our intermediate grammar course. Um, so this is the second to last class in this series of classes. And then we will begin in June, um, the next round of classes, which is intermediate grammar two. Um, so another great opportunity for you, if you are watching these classes, is to also be taking the pronunciation and fluency class. Um, I try to, um, when I'm creating the lessons, you know, kind of overlap so that a lot of the things really work together. So for example, um, we have been studying in this class in intermediate grammar one, we've been studying past tense. Um, and so in our pronunciation course, we are just, Discussing, and we have talked about it was yesterday. Um, we did a lesson, uh, part of a lesson on past tense endings and the pronunciation of past tense endings. So that is kind of how I plan these classes. And um, I really hope that you guys are enjoying them. You know, if you have questions, please message me on the app or feel free to email me and I do my best to get back to everybody. I do get a lot of um, a lot of people reaching out on a daily basis. So um, the best way to get in touch with me is via our app. If you do not have the app, um, you can download it from our website. Just go to goenglishcoach.com and then slash app, A-P-P, goenglishcoach.com slash A-P-P. Okay, and you can download for free from there. Um, Okay, so our lesson today, we're going to be looking at page 10 from our book. Um, if you guys have not seen the books that we use, um, this is what I use primarily for our grammar class, um, for both in intermediate and um, I use focus on grammar three for intermediate grammar one. And then for advanced, I use um, level four and five of this book. Kind of just depends on who's in the class and what level the entire class is at. So it sometimes can be difficult to kind of, you know, make a lesson when people are in multiple different um, levels, but it always works out. And um, that's kind of when teaching gets really fun is when you get to like modify and make things harder for certain students and help, you know, then you can provide more help for other students. And so anyways, we're going to look at uh, page 10 here. We're going to look at some sentence conversion. So we'll be taking a present, a set of present tense um, verbs and then changing them into the past tense. So we'll really get some like technical, a, take a technical look at how to create past tense sentences and start to get really, really comfortable with using the past tense. I think it's very clear when we use past tense. So that's great. Um, and then the, be the the hardest part about using the simple past tense is just those irregular verbs. So um, I've got a list of about 30 sentences that are um, that include the most common verbs in English. So we'll be giving you guys a, a very full kind of um, amount of information. Specifically, if you can master those, you know, 30 verbs, you can get through probably 80%, 90% of everyday English conversations. So, but I do encourage vocabulary and I'm going to be starting to include some vocabulary, um, lists and in the, in the app coming up here. So be sure that you're looking out for those things as well. All right, let's head over to the desk here and I will share my screen with you and we'll get started on looking at page 10 from our Focus on Grammar workbook. Here we've got just some simple past that it, this includes regular and irregular verbs. So let's go ahead and just start filling this in. If you'd like to do this on your own, please feel free to do that. So we've got 30 verbs here, okay? So if you would like to do this on your own, go ahead and stop the video and get started on that. <clears throat> okay, let's see, how did we do here? So we are taking the base form of the verb and we are going to be adding it, and, or excuse me, converting it to the simple past, okay? 
So we've got begin. The simple past is began. Can you guys see how crazy that looks on my glasses? <laughs> I don't know. I keep trying to modify things and make it better and, you know, so that the video quality is better for you guys. And then it's like, what am I thinking? <laughs> okay, so the past tense of begin is began. Okay. You guys can see that? Great. Um, buy. This is irregular, so it's bought. Catch is caught. Um. You know what I would actually also really like to do here? Let's do this. Ooh, this will be good. Began. And then I'm going to put here. The pronunciation of it. Okay, so, we, so then we can just kind of have a two bold situation here. <clears throat> so by we've got bought, B-O-U-G-H-T. The pronunciation is b a t. okay, bought. So this sound here is a, ah, bought, bought. Okay, so, but the, look at the spelling is B-O-U-G-H-T. Great, so catch, actually the past tense of this rhymes with this one. So the past tense of catch is caught. It was really funny when my son was little, my youngest son, he's like 10 years old now. And he, um, when he was little, his way of saying catch, this one in the past tense was, I think he said cotched. Um, so it was really funny and cute. We all knew what he was saying. He was trying to say the past tense of catch and kosh makes sense if you apply kind of the same pattern from other um, verbs to to this to this word catch. But it was just it was a cute story. So here, let's do this here, you guys. So using the IPA, we're gonna do caught. Isn't that crazy? It's just three sounds, but look at all those letters in there. It's just makes it so confusing. Okay, come is came. A is aim, okay? That's a K, sorry. Die, so past tense of die is died. Okay, past tense of die is died. So we're gonna say d, I, d. Okay, makes sense. Okay, do the past tense is did. I, it's the I sound. If you've been doing the pronunciation fluency, you guys should be pretty comfortable with these sounds. If not, please go and watch all those videos. Everything in the past has happened. Um, past classes are stored in the calendar, so feel free to go there and just watch those classes, okay? Um, feel, past tense is felt. Eh. Okay, find is found. Ow, ow. This is aw. This one's ow. Found. Ow. No. Ow. Okay, get in the past tense is got. So that is, sometimes I really have to think about it, got, okay? All right, hopefully this isn't too confusing. Just keep in mind, this is how we say it. This is how we spell it, okay? Okay, give past tense, gave, g, a, v. Have is had. 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 Okay. Hurry. Hurried. He hurried for the bus. Er, er, let's see. Read. There we go. Sometimes you have to think about it. 
Okay, kiss is kissed. So this is a regular one, but pay attention to the ending sound. So kissed is k. Okay, live in lived. That's regular as well. I. Not livid, it's lived. Livid is a whole new word, okay? Um, let's see, let me make sure, sorry. I can see the Okay. Okay, simple pass for look is looked. Okay, so we say l o. Looked. Meet in the past tense is met. Move is moved. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Moved. So it's moved. Okay. Need is needed. Remember last time we talked about the pronunciation or the spelling of the ed, not the spelling, the pronunciation of it. So it's all just ed in the regular form. And then you have multiple different ways that the past tense or the irregular ones are formed. But remember when we've got regular verbs, it's the ed and there's three ways to spell that, right? Or to pronounce that. Am I confusing you guys yet? So for example, here needed, okay, so we've got looked moved so here the final sound for ed is t here's the final sound is d okay and then needed is the third way n e did okay so so you've got t d and id so t d and id are the ways that we can pronounce that final ed sound okay uh opened O end. Okay, put the past tense um of put is put. I put it on the table. So put. Okay. Um, this is read, and in the past tense is read, but the same spelling. So the past tense is pronounced. Re so this is read. So we're gonna go R I Y D is read. In the past tense, it's red, like the color red. Okay. And this is the pronunciation with the R E D red. So yesterday I read the book. Okay. Say and then said. So that actually rhymes with red. So we can just kind of, you know, eh, eh, and de. Um, see and then saw. So that one is like this. Okay. Take and then took. 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 Think and then thought. Oops. Thought. Now, remember we talked about two forms of TH in English. We've got this one and this one. This one is think, and this one is like thank, thank, thank. This, no, like this and think. So this one is not voice, so think, there's no vibration here, and this, the, the, there is vibration. So this is the voiceless, and this is voiced, okay? VL for voiceless and V for voiced. Okay, understand is understood. Uh, no, understood, so we're gonna go, uh, Der, st, uh, okay, understood. Okay, um, let's see, sorry, I need to turn off these notifications here. Okay, great. Um, vote and then voted. Oh, okay. 
goaded. Goaded. I'm going to actually say that we say this like this. Vote. Voted. Voted. Okay. Win is one. Like the number one. Pronounced exactly the same as number one. So wah. Un. And then the last one is right. And we say wrote. So it's the pronunciation of this one is wrote. Okay. And look at this last one here. The past of B is was or were. Okay. Hopefully you guys did really well on that. So let's take each of these sentences and change them into a past tense sentence. Okay. If you'd like to do this on your own, go ahead and pause the video and let's get started. So I am five feet tall. If I say this in the past tense, we're going to say I was five feet tall. Okay. She has two dogs. She had two dogs. Every day he does yard work. We're going to do push, put this in the past tense. We're going to say every day. He did yard work. This makes it sound like this person doesn't, isn't, he, so this person doesn't do yard work anymore every day, okay? I know that man from work. I knew that man from work. We think it's ready. We thought it was ready. Okay, so, oops, I spelled that incorrectly. Uh, what happened here, so if we expand this to include it, we think it is ready instead of it's, then we have two verbs, right, that we have to um, change. So we have to change we thought and it was, okay? So those are two forms of the verb, two verbs there, okay? Um, and you can leave this as it's or it is, either way is fine. Okay, let's keep going. He goes to church on Sundays. He, sorry, went to church on Sundays. Okay, the baby gets two bottles in the morning. The baby, I have to get this cat door. The baby gets two bottles. No, we have to change gets got two bottles in the morning. So you might be saying this in the afternoon now, right? Okay. Um, every night I say, I love you to my sons. I have three sons. Okay. Sorry. I have to just make this a teacher. This has got to be perfect. <laughs> okay. Um, every night I say, I love you to my sons. Uh, every night I said I love you to my sons okay um the company wants to develop a new marketing plan the company wanted to develop a new marketing come on just autocorrect <laughs> okay so now here we have a question can you see the difference Let's change the question to a past tense question. Could you see the difference? Okay, still a question. Okay, what does it mean? Here's another question. What, where's the verb? So we have to change the auxiliary, right? So we've got two, we have two verbs here. We have, this is the main verb Go over here. Mean is the main verb, okay? What does it mean? We've got, because it's a question, we have we have to use the do or does. Okay, so let's do the whole thing. We have to change the whole thing. What did it mean? We do not change the word mean. We change just this, okay? So. You can see what's happening here. Okay, let's keep going. The landlord lets us rent the home. The landlord let, in the past, let us rent the home. 
in the morning I make my bed. In the morning I made my bed. Okay, that happened one time. This is a here. It's saying it's something I do every day. This is saying this morning or yesterday morning, right? In the morning I made my bed. You're talking about something one time in the past. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Okay, so Friday comes at the end of the week. Friday came at the end of the week, obviously. Um, the plane takes off at 12.15 tomorrow. Now, what is interesting about this sentence? Is this something in the present tense or is this something in the future? Okay, so there are some instances where you can use um, the present tense to discuss future events, okay? We're going to look at that when we start doing future tense in the classes next week, okay? So let's just kind of practice here. You could say the plane will take off at 12.15 tomorrow, but many times when we are talking about schedules specifically, like if you're talking about a class tomorrow, what time does class start? Class starts at 8 p.m. and you can all you can say tomorrow. So with schedules, we can often use the present tense form to discuss something in the future. Okay. The plane takes off at 12:15 tomorrow. Let's talk about in the past. So we're gonna have to change this sentence a little bit more than just because if I say the plane took off at 12 p.m. tomorrow, that doesn't make sense, right? Because you have something in the past and then you have something in the future. So your sentences have to generally agree. Um, the plane took off at 12.15. Let's put another time thing in there. Yesterday, okay? Um, my friend looks ill. My friend looked ill, okay? He thanks the doctor every time he leaves the office. He thanks the doctor every time he leaves the office. Um, let's see. He thanked. Oh my gosh, the doctor every time he. So we have two verbs here, right? So we've got this one, thanks and leaves. So we've got to change both of those, you guys. He thanked the doctor every time he left the office. That's a perfect past tense sentence, okay? Everyone tells me that I look like her. Okay, so again, we have two different verbs here that we're both, that both will need to change. Okay. Okay, so everyone told me that I looked like her, okay? The assistant puts the financial information into the document. The verb is put, okay? The past tense of put is put. <laughs> the assistant put the financial information into the document okay keep going here we're almost done more than half of the way done marco likes to play with the cat marco liked to play with the cat okay my cousin talks on the phone non-stop my cousin talked on the phone non-stop what does that mean all the time Oh gosh, look at that. Information. Okay. My father-in-law. So who is my father-in-law? What is a father-in-law? Father-in-law is, for me, I'm married. It's my husband's father, okay? Father-in-law means he's, it's my husband's father, okay? Or... Um, you can have a brother-in-law, a sister-in-law, and a mother-in-law, okay? Um, so a sister-in-law, to me, would be my brother's wife. So because they are married, she becomes my sister-in-law. 
Um, my brother-in-law is married to my sister. Okay. Okay. Um, so my father-in-law, what does it say? Needs a new car, needed a new car. Okay, some people believe the story. Some people believed the story. Okay, they give a trophy to the winner. They gave a trophy to the winner. Okay, um, try. Uh, I try every day to improve my health. I tried every day. So this implies that I used to try. I tried in the past, but no longer. I I don't try anymore. Um, I, I tried every day to improve my health. Okay, my dad calls me every other week. What does that mean? What does every other week mean to you? So it means one week, yes, one week, no. One week, yes, one week, no. Every other week, okay? Um, some people also say bi-weekly, but most people will say every other week. It's just a little bit more casual. Okay, my dad calls me every other week. My dad called me every other week. The dogs always find their bone. The dogs always, past tense of find, is found their bone. I'm going to say bones. It should probably be the dogs always find their bones because it's plural. Um, it's not necessary. You could say there is only one bone, but, um, okay. So she feels nauseous. She felt nauseous. What does nauseous mean? It means maybe your stomach or your head hurts. You feel like you're going to vomit. Okay. Nauseous is usually about feeling like you're going to vomit or throw up. Um, great. Okay. Two more. It happens every time in the past. It happened every time that customer always asks for more salt that customer asked for more salt okay you can include always but uh, it's not necessary okay great um another activity that you could do with this would be to um you could Let's see. What about this? What if we put these in the negative form and then you could put this in the negative form? Um, so maybe we will just continue to work on these um, and add to this document, okay? So you could say, I am five feet tall. I am not five feet tall. She has two dogs. She doesn't have two dogs, okay? Every day he does yard work. Every day he doesn't do yard work. Oh my goodness. Okay, you understand the point. So you could do the rest of these here to make them all. I don't know that man from work. We don't think it's ready. He doesn't go to church on Sundays. Okay. Let's just do the rest of this here. Um, the baby gets, the baby doesn't. Baby doesn't get two bottles in the morning. Present tense sentence. So we're going to call it negative present tense, past tense. And then over here, we could do um, negative past tense. Okay, we'll work on that in the next class. Let's get this one done here. 
Okay. And then let's see. Okay. Every night I say, I love you to my sons. Every night I don't say, I love you to my sons. Okay. The company wants to develop a new park marketing plan. The company doesn't want to develop a new marketing. It would really, maybe I should take a typing course. Uh, okay, can you see the difference? Can't you see the difference? Okay, what does it mean? Uh, we can say, what doesn't it mean? We really wouldn't use that kind of a sentence. Um, let's just, doesn't really, it doesn't really work there. The landlord lets us rent the home. The landlord doesn't let us rent the home. In the morning, I make my bed. In the morning, I, I don't make my bed. Bed. This is the true statement for me. Okay. Friday comes at the end of the week. Friday doesn't come at the end of the week. The plane takes off at 12.15 tomorrow. The plane, holy moly, the plane doesn't take off at Look, my friend looks ill. My friend doesn't, holy moly, doesn't look ill. He thanks the doctor every time he leaves the office. He doesn't thank the doctor when he leaves the office. So, I changed this a little bit, right? I changed it to when he leaves the office because when we're making a negative statement saying something doesn't happen, we wouldn't say every time. You know what I mean? It's more used in the in the present in the in the affirmative. Let's keep going. He tells everyone tells me that I look like her. Everyone actually what we're going to say. You could say everyone doesn't tell me. I would say people don't tell me that I look like her. Um, everyone is used in a positive statement. So you could say, people don't tell me I look like that, that I look like her, people don't tell me that, or, and yeah, let's keep it like that. So the assistant puts the financial information into the document. Okay, Marco likes to play with the cat. Marco. Mm -hmm. Cat. Okay, my cousin talks on the phone nonstop. My cousin doesn't talk on the phone nonstop. Okay, my father in law needs a new car. My Father-in-law doesn't need a new car. Some people believe the story. Some people don't believe the story. Ooh, that itch. Okay, they give a trophy to the winner and then they don't. Okay. I try every day to improve my health. I don't try. I don't try to improve. Okay. My dad calls me every other week. My dad doesn't call me that often. How about that? The dogs always find their bones. The dogs don't always find their bones. She feels nauseous. She doesn't 
feel nauseous. Nauseous. Okay, good. Uh, it happens every time. It doesn't happen every time. And finally, that customer always asks for more salt. That customer doesn't always ask for more salt. Okay. Okay, great. So this is just a great starting point and we can continue to work on this in the, in the upcoming classes. So keep, um, maybe here, let me span this a little bit. You can take a nice little screenshot of that and let's continue working on that. So for today, we're going to end. Um, I would like to have you work on this part of this. So this can be your homework. So I would like for you to fill in these sentences. So you can just, um, let's see, why don't we do this? So you've got 30 of them here. Um, and here we go. So this is what I would like for you to do would be this section here. To add this, I'm going to take a screenshot and I'm going to put it in our app as well. Okay. And we will have the whole group do it. Okay. All right, everybody. Let's see. That was a great class. I'm hoping that it was good for you as well. If you need to go back to that to, you know, write all of those numbers out, you know, you can just put one, number one, write the past tense sentence, number two, past tense sentence, okay? We will do the rest of that in our next upcoming class. So I'm excited to see you all. Let's see, I will see you in class on Thursday. Okay, have a great day.